What's up? So, uh, you might see what I entitled this because uh, I'm just after taking a ball square to the face when I was playing in goal. So I went in goal just as everyone does, you do your turn and goal. And like in all my years playing football, Gaelic football, I've actually never experienced this, it never happened to me. I've seen it happen occasionally, but it's very rare that like a keeper takes the ball to the face from point blank range at full force. I mean, the guy smashed it at me, and I don't know how. Like I had a shot like that just moments before, so it would be very hypocritical of me to uh, to blame him or anything like that. Like obviously not. Um, but it's just it was a free thing. I took the ball, smashed square in the face, and and then like. I just felt dizzy, a slight bit dizzy for a few moments, a few seconds, and like everyone erupted in laughter, yeah? Which I didn't take personally or anything, like uh, that's just the way their humour is. They all think it's really funny, whereas if that happened in Ireland, I don't think people would laugh. So I was like, Pfft. I took a ball straight to the face. And, and then like, I just felt, I felt like just not right to continue. I just wanted to step off for a minute. And like, I just literally walked off the pitch, went to drink some water, and then lay down. And you too, Lawa. Um, thanks for watching. So I don't know. I just wanted to. I thought it'd be just a good moment to talk about concussion in sport briefly, because obviously I don't have concussion. I didn't take any sort of level of force that would give you concussion, but it did cause me to think about it. You know, I went into the shower and I was like, Jesus, could you imagine if you did take a full head collision, like head to head, and, just, and that it caused you that kind of damage? Like, all it takes is one moment in football. And um, it just kind of freaked me out for a minute, you know, so I just, I just didn't want to continue. Like, I, I wasn't um, feeling great all day anyway. So by the time I'd, by the time I'd um, gone off the pitch, my body had cold, cooled down too much, so I just hit into the shower. And like, I just didn't feel right to keep playing. Um, you know, I felt like my head basically took a smash to the face. It's like taking a full force box to the face. Thankfully, no damage to my pretty face. Obviously, a rubber ball wouldn't do that. But I don't care about that anyway. Actually, you could put your nose out of joint, couldn't it? But uh, yeah, like it, it was just—I can't really explain it. I just felt like I didn't want to play on. Maybe there was a part of the back of my mind thinking, like the, mo the small risk of if you did take a slight, slight, slight concussion, that by playing on, if you got into another tackle, you could exacerbate it. Um, yeah, and like it's just the reaction of the lads was, was kind of. I think it spoke a lot of the, the attitude we have to concussion in sport because they're all like, the guy who did it, he took the shot, he's like, oh, sorry, sorry. He's like, don't say sorry, but just be aware that like, if someone takes a shot like that, you, probably, you definitely shouldn't continue immediately. Go, you know, go to the sideline, lie down for a minute, sit down, drink water, and just see how, you, how your head feels, basically. Uh, so, yeah, I was, just, I was freaked out for a little minute. I know it might sound like wussy, but... I've just I've been reading a bit about concussion of late, and um, you know, just seeing the way it's dealt with in football, like in Premier League circles, and you know, players play on nine times out of ten. There was the uh, Sunderland player took a head collision against Liverpool during the week. Jibuli, Jibolji, I can't pronounce his name. The guy who used to play for Chelsea played one minute for Chelsea, uh, and he played on. I, I tweeted about it. I couldn't believe. I think it's terrible, this kind of macho culture of you've got to play on, you know, if you take a head collision, it's the most dangerous thing, so you should definitely uh, go off and see how you feel about it, you know. 
Um, it was just weird. It was disappointing because I was actually playing really well tonight. Of this football uh, that I play in, it was probably my best game. I scored a good few goals, and uh, I was playing well, enjoying it. And then I decided I opted to go and goal, just volunteered as you do. Um, that backfired because <laughs> I took his ball right to the face, right to the boat race, square like that. Um, so yeah. That's uh, that's what happened. That was tonight's game. Probably skip the beers tonight. Um, just go back and eat, get some food into me. Uh, so yeah, that was that was the crack um, with tonight's game. Thanks for watching. And uh, all these periscopes. Normally I'm a bit more lively after the football. I have some funny stories to tell. Have a few beers, but tonight I'm. Uh, I was just a bit uh, the, taking the ball to the face, kind of ruined it for me. You know what I mean? Um, but like I said again, I played my football my whole life, and it never happened. It's, it's very rare, freak occurrence. Like as a keeper, you have your hands down. You, you don't. You're not like a boxer going around with your hands up trying to protect your face. You're not expecting the ball to the face. You know? So uh, yeah, just one of those things. People be, should be more aware of head injuries in sport. Uh, because down the line, uh, you know, if you take those kind of head injuries continuously later in life, it can cause all sorts of serious damage. So, uh, yeah, apologies for the uh, kind of morose appearance, I suppose. I think my nose might have taken a hit as well, I'm a bit blocked in the nose. Uh, but that's it, yeah. Uh, Stay ready for more periscopes coming out over this weekend on the FA Cup and whatnot. And uh, hopefully get some good weather here in Chiang Mai tomorrow. And uh, be able to do some videos on that. Any comments before I finish? Anyone want to... Anyone got any, any comments to throw up or anything like that? Uh, if you could hear me well or if, if you could understand what I was trying to say. The message I was trying to convey here in this periscope. Um, that would be nice just if you could leave a comment or whatever. Excuse me. Uh, et voilà. Je pense que c'est tout. I think I'm going to leave it there. Uh, and, uh, yeah, until next time. We'll uh, speak next time. Over and out. Cheers.